Forza Horizon 5 won the Best Racing Game Award at the Game Awards in 2021, and it's for sure still today one of the best racing games out there. But we all know that there is always room for improvements, and that improvements come with, you've guessed it, mods. And although Forza Horizon modding community is not even nearly as big as for example a modding community for Nitro Speed games and that Forza developers have always been very anti-cheat, there are still some pretty cool mods out there. And today I'm gonna show you my top 10 mods you can get for Forza Horizon 5. When Forza Horizon 5 released, we could probably all agree that it had a terrible sound design. During the past two years there were some updates that addressed this issue, but the sound is still not as good as we deserve it to be. So I'm gonna start off with Revolu Sound Mod, that improves exhaust sounds, intakes, engine sounds, trouble induction, blow off valves, it has a reworked VTAC system, realistic rain sound, better two-step sound and more. The mod also imports car sounds for some cars like Nissan Skyline R34, GR Supra, Nissan GTR and some others. When installing the mod you maybe won't experience much of a difference at first, but when you place a vanilla sounding car next to a car with a modded sound, you can really see the difference this mod makes. Another cool thing is that if you have this mod installed, you can also install a sports car audio system mod, which modifies exhaust sounds to exhausts like Akrapovic for M4 or E63 AMG, Miltek exhaust for RS6, Novitek for Ferrari 458 and many others. We are probably all fed up with regular radio stations in Forza Horizon 5. So thankfully we have a funk radio station mod which obviously adds funk radio station or more exactly it replaces block party radio station. But hey, what's more cool than drifting around in your pimped out S13 and listening to some funk? Or maybe if you're not a fan of funk, maybe you like Eurobeat more. Eurobeat radio replaces eternal radio station, which we can all agree is the shittiest radio in the game. Unless you like to listen to Beethoven playing 6th symphony while doing 180 miles per hour. And keep in mind that the mod only replaces the songs, so the whole commercial part is still from the original radio station. 100% classical music. Moving on to some visual mods, one of my absolute favorite is the BMW M3 GTR Most Wanted mod, which replaces the M3 GTR by the M3 GTR inspired by Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. It replaces base body, exhaust and Forza wing. The only downside of the mod are the rear tires that don't have enough spacing and therefore look kind of funny. But other than that, when you combine this mod with Revolu Sound Mod, you get really close to how the car sounded and looked in Need for Speed Most Wanted. Next pretty cool looking visual mod is Kunisek Regera Aero Body Kit. The body kit is really simple, it adds a new front bumper together with front splitter and candars, a new side skirt and a big ass wing. Now Regera with the Aero Kit looks much more aggressive than with the vanilla body kit, and I just love it. Forza Horizon 5's Horizon Plus Sync Up Overlay is probably a mod that many of you already heard about. Horizon Plus is a UI makeover that adds some racing features to your game. For example, G-Force meter, measurement of a top speed, build temperature indication, boost gauge and so many more things. A whole thing is customizable through Sync Up app. You can add new components, move them around, resize them and even customize the look of the components. One of my absolute favorite things to do is watch a G-Force meter when flying off a cliff, or suddenly becoming stationary. I also like to use it to see an angle of my drifts, or to see the fastest lap time I had in a race. And the really cool thing is that you can show or hide the overlay with just the click of a button. So when you don't need it anymore, you can simply get rid of it. Convertible pack mod is pretty self-explanatory. It's a pack of 11 cars with removed roofs, side windows and roof windows, to make them look like convertibles. The pack includes 5 Corvettes, from a brand new C8 to old 95 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, and other cars like Lotus Exige S, Pontiac Farber Trans M, Nissan Fairlady Z Twin Turbo and also a 2011 Koenigsegg Agera, which looks really awesome, but unfortunately that's a DLC car. 
and I feel like this mod really goes well together with the Mexico map and its weather and also you can show off your cool looking character. This next mod is a must have mod if you like your car to shoot flames and that's Need for Speed Heat style backfire mod which basically just increases backfire duration and if you compare it to a vanilla backfire you can see how this mod is a true game changer when it comes to exhaust flames. Another awesome visual mod is a Ford Focus RS 2017 complete overhaul mod. The list of the mod changes are full remake of front bumper and splitter, new side skirts, full remake of trunk and trunk bay, rear window changes, LED lights and radiator changes, new roof scoop, two new spoiler options and zero Uno rims. The mod also changes some interior things such as remove back seats, new steering wheel and Recaro racing seats. And last but certainly not the least mod we have is wheel pack mod which is a simple mod that swaps some aftermarket wheels for OEM wheels from cars in game. So if you ever wanted to build your cars with OEM wheels from different brand now you can do that. For example, you can now put Dodge Demon wheels on your Shelby GT350 or work wheels from Formula Drift M2 on a E46 M3. Or we can take it one step further, why not put Ferrari wheels on your Golf R? No? Ok, maybe Lamborghini Diablo wheels or C63 AMG? No 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 no, this one, Mustang RTR spec wheels. Yeah, these ones look hard. So yeah, this mod really gives you an unlimited amount of possibilities when playing around with wheels. And now it's your turn to go on and try out these mods. Or let me know down in the comments if you have any other mod suggestions that you want me to try out. Or you think that should be on this list. One of them is definitely all-in-one modding tool that lets you unlock all the cars and buy them for free. But unfortunately the most of the time it's down and not working so I couldn't add it to my list of top 10 mods. So with all that said, I'll end the video here, if you enjoyed it please drop the like button and subscribe if you're new and as always have a great day and I'll see you next time.